So I'm Victoria Siddle. I'm the director of the Freeze Fairs, so Freeze London, Freeze New York and Freeze Masters. We have over 190 galleries in the fair and that includes a number of curated sections as well as the main section. This is the preview day of the fair and it's going incredibly well so far. My name's Kurt Mueller and I'm a director at David Kordiansky Gallery. We really believe in the solo exhibition as a way to introduce a body of work and the sensibility and the practice of an artist. In Leslie's case, she works with us in Los Angeles, one of the gallery's founding artists. Leslie's very meticulous, works very methodically and thoughtfully in making each picture. She makes maybe a dozen paintings a year at most. So the paintings are very rare and it's rare to see this much work at one time and especially in New York at one time. And she's really been pushing both the scale of the work, the color of the work, and the intricacy of the pictorial space that's created. We first began showing Joan Snyder's work last summer. It's just been about a year. Some of this material has never been seen since the early 70s, so it's, it's really a special uh, uh, event to get them all together under one roof. This group of work, which she referred to as stroke painting series, she really began questioning the purpose of abstract painting and what it meant. And it just hit her to dissect it all. And she began by looking at the stroke itself. It was really a radical idea at that time to just leave the plane and have the elements creating something that connects rather than covers. Marsha Hafif was actually born in 1929, and in 1971 she began this kind of work that you see, which is this uh, monochromatic work, but there's a very conceptual framework to it. For these, she actually used pure pigment, which she ground on glass a very traditional way, and then very methodically painted from upper left corner across the canvas to the right and worked her way down. What's interesting though is that the pigments themselves have inherently different properties and those start to reveal themselves when you see the work side by side. This organization is all very much by her design. I'm Michael Jenkins. I'm one of the partners at Sikama Jenkins & Co. And this is the work of Amy Stillman. An example of a work like this, I think you can see how she, through abstraction, she's taking references to the body and people, people that she knows is the origin of this type of work and she's abstracted into quite a bit of uh, shapes and colors. We're, we've been working with Amy Silman for over 16 years and she'll have a solo show at the gallery again in the winter of 2016. Our solo presentation of Harmony Hammon uh, here in Freeze focuses on the 1970s and recent work done by the artist. In the 70s, she was defining a body of work called the weave paintings, in which she applied layers of oil paint and using the back of her brush, she would weave out painting out of the canvas to reveal the different layers of color. In 1984, she leaves New York and moves to Galisteo, New Mexico, and that change was really transformative and the scale of her painting really grew and that was only possible with this really dramatic change that happened between a loft in New York in Soho and the kind of studio space that she has in Galisteo. 